Surviving with Type 2 Diabetes Pregnancy and Type 2 Diabetes Key Points If you maintain healthy blood glucose levels before and during your pregnancy, you have the same chance of delivering a healthy baby as all other women. High blood glucose levels around the time your baby is conceived can harm your baby. For this reason it is important to plan your pregnancy and get help and advice from your specialist diabetes service before becoming pregnant. Diabetes tablets are not safe to use before or during your pregnancy. It may be safest to transfer onto insulin before and during the pregnancy. You will need to maintain very close contact with your closest specialist diabetes service during your pregnancy, as pregnancy alters your diabetes during the time you are carrying your baby. Having a baby is a very important time in your life. It involves going through many changes as you and your body prepare for the coming baby. Managing your diabetes can be quite demanding during pregnancy while there is so much else going on. But it is very important for both you and your baby that you put extra effort into your diabetes at this time. Before pregnancy. Planning your pregnancy. If your blood glucose levels are high at the time of conceiving your baby, and during the early weeks of pregnancy, your baby is at greater risk of developing abnormalities. For this reason it is very important to plan your pregnancy where possible. If your pregnancy is planned you can work towards having as healthy as possible blood glucose levels during this time. If you are not planning to become pregnant make doubly sure you are using a safe form of contraception. Many of the contraceptive pills are safe for women with diabetes. Intrauterine devices IUDs, may carry an increased risk of infection for some women with diabetes. However, most doctors consider them to be safe. See your GP, family planning doctor or diabetes specialist to arrange contraception. If you know you have had unprotected sex, at a time when you are not planning to become pregnant it is best to visit your doctor as soon as possible afterwards for help and advice. Once you have decided to become pregnant, visit your nearest specialist diabetes service for pre-pregnancy support and advice. It is best to plan this visits at least three months before you intend to start trying to conceive. Diabetes Medications Most diabetes services will advise you to stop your diabetes tablets before conceiving. This is because it is not known whether diabetes tablets can harm unborn babies. If your blood glucose levels are high once you are off your tablets, you will need to start on insulin for the pre-pregnancy and pregnancy period. You will get a lot of support and teaching from the diabetes service to help you do this. Insulin is much safer than diabetes tablets to take during pregnancy because it is a natural body hormone that we all have. Therefore, it does not put your baby at risk. Blood glucose levels. During pre-pregnancy it is best if you maintain your blood glucose levels as near to the normal range that of people without diabetes as possible. It's best if your blood glucose levels are mostly between 4 to 8 mmol and your HbA1c less than 55 mmol per mole. You and your baby have the best chance of being healthy if you have these levels for 3 months before conception. Retinal Check Before pregnancy you should get your retinas checked, preferably by an ophthalmologist. Pregnancy can cause retinopathy, diabetes eye damage to get worse. If you have retinopathy it should be stabilized before you become pregnant. Folic Acid Folic acid is thought to reduce the risk of you having a child with spina bifida or other abnormalities. You should take a 5 mg daily folic acid supplement for 4 weeks before becoming pregnant and also for the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. Alcohol It is now considered that there is no safe level of alcohol during pregnancy. It is best to avoid alcohol altogether during any time when you may become pregnant, as well as for the duration of your pregnancy. Drinking alcohol during pregnancy can cause your baby to have a condition called fetal alcohol syndrome. This can result in them having severe behavioral problems throughout life. Smoking If you smoke, you must try to stop before conceiving your child. All women who smoke are at more risk of developing problems during their pregnancy. Their babies are also at risk of being too small, premature or malnourished. If you have diabetes and smoke the risks to yourself and your baby are increased.